Sitting next to me here are what we call our solar stones. And although we did not originally create the images depicted on these tablets, we replicated them from ancient petroglyphs down in Chaco Canyon National Park that were created around a thousand years ago by the ancestral Pueblo people there. So this over here is the final version of our tablet. And it is a depiction of what we believe is a total solar eclipse around the year 1097. And the reason we believe that is because looking at this, it has all the telltale signs of an eclipse. It has an occultation in the center where the moon would be blotting out the sun, this very circular shape. It has the solar corona out and along the sides. And up here on the top is what is believed to be a reflection of Venus. While these tablets would be really good for any learner, uh, we collaborated with the Colorado School of the Blind so that we could make these tablets accessible to low vision learners. Space is typically a very visual field. You look up at the stars, you look at pictures of space, but if you can't see that, then you're pretty much completely blocked out from being able to study this and be able to understand this part of history. And so this way we have an exhibit that people can learn from if they are sighted or not sighted. It took a lot of time to figure out how much detail we needed, how deep the objects needed to be, what textures we needed to use. A lot of these things that we didn't expect, we gained context through lots of user testing. So I think this project is really valuable because it allows people to interact with space in a completely different framework. Every person has something they can contribute to the study of space. And so our hope is that not only can the blind and low vision community be included in this part of history, but that sighted learners can potentially learn things easier with a tactile experience.